What's going on, guys? Um, today, I want to talk to you about something that I've been more and more concerned about. Um, you know, you guys know that I run a veteran lifestyle company called Warrior Soul, and that I do a, a lot of work in the veteran community. And um, this issue affects the veteran community, but it also affects the entire civilian population. I, I think, especially here in the United States. Um, and what I'm talking about today is um, pharmaceuticals and their role in our lives and how they are affecting us, many of us without us even realizing it. Um, in today's society, when something happens, you go to the doctor, the doctor gives you medication, um, and a lot of times we take it without question. And uh, I think it's really important that we educate ourselves on, on every medication that, doc, that the doctor gives us, even the ones that we don't think are going to have a lot of impact. And, and I'll get into why in a second. Um, what I wanna start by saying is this, this is not me saying not to take your medicine uh, if a doctor prescribes it to you. I'm not telling you this. Um, but I think that in a lot of ways, the doctors don't tell us the whole story when they do give us a piece of medication. Right. For example, I was put on prednisone um, a few months ago and uh, the doctor did her best to educate me on it. But I, I should have done my homework on it when I was titrating down on prednisone, because when you go on prednisone, prednisone is a, a what they call a corticosteroid, meaning rather than being testosterone, it's, it's giving you a, a dose of cortisol. Um, in your body that's, or, or, or a byproduct that's taking the place of cortisol. And <clears throat> it starts to suppress your immune system. And the reason why I was on it was because of ulcerative colitis. But um, you don't wanna be on, cord uh, on prednisone for too long because like, <clears throat> like any steroid, it can have an effect on your endocrine system. So they started titrating me down, um, you know, step by step. Uh, I started with 40 milligrams, went down to 30 milligrams, went down to 20 milligrams, went down to 15, went down to 10, went down to five. And when I came home from the five milligram dose, uh, my body started going into withdrawal. Um, and, and so what happened during this withdrawal? Well, uh, every bone in my body, every joint started aching. I started getting wicked anxiety. Um, my, my heart started, um, uh, you know, even feeling a little bit weird. I was, uh, I was having trouble, trouble sleeping. I was going through hot and cold flashes. And what was going on was that, uh, my entire, uh, hypothalamic pituitary adrenal access, uh, was being affected by not having the prednisone there. So I had to go back on prednisone and now they're titrating me down from, from 10 milligrams down to one. Trust me, I don't want to be on prednisone, um, but I have to, I have to go back onto it now to try to restart my, uh, my, 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 that part of my endocrine system. <clears throat> it has such a huge effect. Um, and I'm also trying to, to, use adaptogenic herbs. I'm using ashwagandha. I'm using some, some rhodiola, some, some GABA, um, to try to, um, to, to, you know, get my, that part of my endocrine system back to normal. My, my HPAA axis is what it's called. But, um, but you know, that's me. What I really want to get into today though, is because a lot of people know that prednisone is a hardcore medication that you shouldn't screw around with. But there's a lot of things that we include in our daily lives that, that we need to be very careful of. For example, doctors tend to give out antibiotics like they're candy, right? And uh, a lot of people don't understand this, but when you take an antibiotic, it could affect you for years down the line um, for a couple of different reasons. One, if you're taking an antibiotic, realize what's going on with your digestive tract, right? If you're taking an antibiotic, it's, it's basically killing all of the good and bad, but all of the good gut microflora that are supposed to help your body, that are supposed to help you to digest, that are supposed to keep you from going into an inflammatory state. And so if you go on to an antibiotic, you've got to realize that that's what's going on so that you can put the effort in into um, uh, rebuilding and reconstructing that gut microbiome. Uh, and so a lot of people who've been on antibiotics in the last couple of years, 
they don't do this. And so because of that, they start to get sugar cravings. They start to go through depression. They start to go through a lot of the things, the negative things that happen when you have an unbalanced gut. Uh, and doctors don't give instruction on how to rebuild that gut flora. There, there might be a few great doctors out there that do that, but, but in my experience, most of the time they do not. And so you really want to, if you've been on an antibiotic, you want to make sure that you're, you're eating fermented foods. You want to make sure that you're eating your prebiotic and probiotic foods. You want to make sure that um, you're on a very strong uh, uh, probiotic supplement. And you also might want to consult a, a, a naturopathic professional about getting your, your, your stool tested and, and, and checking out to see uh, whether or not you're constructing your, your gut microbiome um, in the proper way. Uh, and I'm just letting you know this, I'm not saying that you have to do this, but um, I'm letting you know this because these class of drugs, they can have an effect on you for years. The other thing about antibiotics is that uh, there's a drug that's uh, used a lot, it's called Cipro. And Cipro can actually make your tendons and ligaments extremely brittle. Um, and and for, for months or years after you take it, uh, even, even a single dose, you can be very open to a tendon rupture um, or, or a really bad injury because you've taken this and, and doctors aren't really warning people about this. Um, there's, there's a lot of athletes who've gotten themselves into trouble because of this. You know, they get an infection, um, they, they go, they get the, they get the antibiotic, the doc doesn't warn them, and then they go off and they, they tear a ligament. I think that um, one of Joe Rogan's guests over the last few weeks uh, definitely had this problem. I can't remember what the name was right now. But, uh, but if you're taking something like Cipro or strong antibiotic, you really need to uh, be careful and be watching your tendons and ligaments um, <clears throat> and trying to avoid injury. Um, you know, and the, then the other thing is we have these other issues too. Um, things we're dealing with in the veteran community where uh, a lot of veterans um, are, are being put on tons and tons of psychoactive medication um, for, for things like PTS and, and for things like TBI. And they're, they're getting a lot of serious negative side effects because of it. Um, and again, I'm not telling you that you should avoid taking the medication that your doctors uh, are, are offering you. But what I am saying is that you need to educate yourselves. We all have to be active participants in our own care. I'm no doctor. I'm not uh, any medical expert by any means. But uh, I'm sure as hell going to try and educate myself about anything that I'm putting into my body. Um, and, and if you want to live a healthy life, if you want to be fit, you want to build muscle, you want to burn fat, if you want to live your best life possible, you better damn be well sure. I screw up my words all the time. You better be damn well sure that uh, you know you're, you're paying attention to everything you're putting in your body. You're educating yourself about it, and if it is going to have an effect on you, like destroying your gut microbiome, you got to educate yourself on how to to rebuild that gut microbiome. Um, so that's all I got for today. It's just a simple blog. I, I, I know it's probably it's it's not as sexy as squats or, or talking about ketosis or anything like that. But I think it's very, very important for all of us to understand um, that the medications we take, even the ones that we think, you know, aren't going to really have an effect on us, they can have a massive effect. Oh, one other thing I wanted to mention too, household products, right? So you might never be on prednisone like I am, but if you're taking hydrocortisone cream, right, think about that. What is hydrocortisone? It's pretty much the same thing. It's reducing inflammation by suppressing your immune response and you're absorbing that through your skin. So <clears throat> be careful about using things like hydrocortisone cream or, or, or antibiotic cream in excess. I know a lot of people, every time they get a nick, they get a cut, they get a pain, they get a rash, they're rubbing that stuff on their skin. So if you don't want that kind of same effect on your, on your uh, endocrine system, probably won't be as pronounced as me coming off of prednisone. <clears throat> but, uh, but if you don't want that kind of same effect and that same 
that, that, that same thing going on with your endocrine system at a lower level, just be wary of what you're putting on your body because I guarantee you these, these companies, they, uh, they don't really care as far as, you know, what we're going through and what happens to us. They care as far as meeting the standards so that they don't get in trouble from the government, but they don't care uh, as far as, you know, the little things that happen to us. So that's it. Uh, we're running a free webinar this Sunday at 9 a.m. If you're interested in signing up for that webinar, I will put the link below. The webinar is going to be on ketosis. We also just opened up Keto Camp. Um, we, uh, we're taking on people for Keto Camp right now. Keto Camp's a full course. We got a full multi-module course. It's going to take you through every step from adaptation through maintenance. It includes a 12-week training program, full nutrition program. Um, we also got a full 130 plus page book on ketosis there, full grocery list, full, um, full, uh, 30 recipe cookbook that you can use. So done plugging myself and I hope you guys have a good night. Peace.